safe fracking. <clears throat> we hear all the time, you know, we're going to do this in a safe way. We're going to regulate this in a way that's safe. Um, now, listen, I've been all over the world and all over the country and to more frack places than I think probably anybody on earth. There is no safe fracking for several reasons. Um, in terms of the earthquakes and, and the seismic activity, that is a brand new wrinkle in this whole um, equation. So there has to be a lot more science. But already, very, very quickly, you've seen a proven link between the fracking and the injection wells and earthquakes. But let's just talk about fracking for gas. Um, the gentleman pointed out the issue of concrete or cement casings for the wells. Now what that means is you're casing these wells with cement all the way around the steel pipe, the well bore. The industry's own documents show that 6% of the well casings fail immediately upon drilling and 50% of them fail over a period of 30 years. And that means all of them will fail over an extended period of time. Now that means you're committing yourself to a, a, a future of perpet... How long does a gas well or an oil well have to last? Not to produce oil or gas, but to protect the groundwater. Forever. Basically forever. You're going to be having to recase those cement. You see sidewalk crack, right? Anybody here ever work with cement? I, know, I used to. I used to be a contractor. It's really a pain in the ass to do cement. It cracks. You have to water it all the time. It's a complicated thing, and it's not perfect, and there's no such thing as a perfect cement job. But if you look back at the tobacco industry and then telling you in the 50s that cigarettes were fine and they had all this science about cigarettes, right? meanwhile, there were these memos in their drawers that said otherwise, and they knew it. Well, the gas and oil industry have these same memos in their drawers. Those memos are the ones that say well casings fail at an astounding rate. And the well casing is the part that is supposed to protect, in other words, make it safe for groundwater, for people. It also, by the way, keeps the gas and oil and methane from migrating into the atmosphere. That is the part of the well that would keep it safe. There is no known way, and the industry knows this. They know this, which is why what their tactic is just to attack you and attack you and attack you and sponsor uniforms for Little League teams instead of actually trying to fix the problem. Right? You can't because they can't fix the problem. There is no way to fix the problem. And they know it. So there is no safe fracking.